Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbie. Just in case you're new here and you haven't checked out my channel before, welcome. So today I'm here to do a explanation. This is a requested video and I was asked how did I make this backdrop. This is my live stream backdrop. It's what I usually use to do my live streams. Um, it's somewhere that I don't usually set for most of my regular videos because it's pretty flashy and there's a lot of things going on in the background. So I'm going to try to explain how I made this uh, backdrop here. But first off, I'm going to explain a few pieces that you're seeing behind me. So first let's get into, I'm going to turn you just mannequin right there. This right here. Okay, this mannequin is, just so that you know, I picked this, this, this burlap mannequin up at Hobby Lobby. It was not expensive, okay? It's, this is just stamped and printed. It's purely for decoration, and it's just for, you know, adding ornamental things to. Uh, it's really like for hanging jewelry or, you know, hats or whatever like this. Um, it was bought on sale. Um, they have, I don't know if they have sale on their furniture all the time, but I th think they do. But I think it was like, if I remember right, it was like $60. Hobby Lobby, guys. All day long, Hobby Lobby. They sell two different styles of this mannequin, or at least they did when I purchased this, which was about um, three months ago, I think. Somewhere around there. All of the baubles that you see on this mannequin, other than this one right here, which has the flowers on it, these were my mother's. These were items of my mother's, along with the hat, okay? And the, the, the little bonnet here, the sun bonnet here, I'll try to adjust you. So I added all of those floral pieces separately, and... Um, the pearl necklace that's around the hat band was a necklace that was my mother's. So I tried to incorporate things that is a combination of me and my mom, okay? Because this is kind of an area that is set up kind of as a memorial to her. And I'm going to take some screenshots and I'll insert those pictures here of things that I have that are sitting in front of me that are things that my mother loved and things that remind me of my mother. This little recording spot um, that I do the live streams from is actually like a memorial area to my mom, almost like a, I don't know, it's just my way of keeping her in my life, okay, because she's not with me physically anymore. So it's just my way of, you know, keeping her, her with me. Okay, and over here, you see this, this, uh, Bassett that is standing up and begging, okay? Hopefully you can kind of see him. Again, so, these yeah. are things that yeah. my mother loved. This Bassett was at one point my mother's and she traded me, we, we used to do a lot of trading back and forth of things that we loved from each other's houses. Like if I'd buy something, she'd be like, oh, I really love that. And I'd be like, well, I'm kind of sick of it. You got anything you want to trade? And she'd be like, yeah, sure. So we used to do a lot of trading of items back and forth. And this is something that I acquired years and years ago from her. And it has been with me so a long course, that's going to be so included in my background here. All right. Now, we'll get to something else here. I'm going to show you something else in this background. All right. So bear with me as I move you around so that you can kind of see we'll do some video um, footage of, so, of close up stuff, you know, after I get done with this. Okay. 
Now you can kind of see the top there, okay? And I'm going to be cut out of this, obviously. My head's going to just, you're just going to see the top of my head. This sign that says, give thanks, that was purchased at Walmart. I swear to God, just prior to my mom passing away. <sighs> she always told me throughout my life to be thankful for everything that I have. And I truly try to be, you know, I, I, I am a woman of very small means. I don't, not rich. I probably never will be unless I can somehow win lotto. Um, yeah, so, you know, I just try to be happy with what I have, no matter how minimal it is, okay? So that was something that she <clears throat> used to kind of always reinforce inside, you know, my psyche was, you know, be thankful for what you have. And I truly do try to be. So, all right, we're going to get into how this is made. So I'm going to have to take you off of this here little tripod and I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to flip it and I'm going to show you exactly what I did um, and how you too can create this because a lot of this, a lot of this, guys, is stuff, you can build this yourself. This, this wasn't expensive. Now, granted, it, it has evolved over the years. Every year I've added more to it, okay? But this is something you can do. It's very inexpensive with materials that you already have laying around. For instance, um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that on this side of the burlap is chicken wire, okay? chicken wire and most of the lights that you see are Christmas lights um, we'll get into more of that I'm gonna flip it so you guys can see for yourselves okay so let's talk about the give thanks sign you can see this really close up this is just one of those canvas board things that you can get from Wally World all of these flowers in here, every single flower in this arrangement around here is from Dollar Tree. That's right, you heard me, Dollar Tree. This hanging clock right here, that was given to me by a friend who I truly appreciate. Then you'll, you're going to see these, this set of lights right here. Um, all this is, is there, I got them around, I think it was Halloween, and that is a pink set, and these are Dollar Tree flowers, okay, and I took them apart, and I, you know, stuck the lights, these, these are LEDs, I stuck the lights through the flower assembly, and then put the flower assembly back with the light inside there, okay, all the lighting that you see is LED, I made this with wire that I picked up around Easter time. This is purple and you can see it's a see-through with glitter. Again, the, the lighting behind here is LED lighting. Now hopefully you can see this is, you know, burlap, a burlap background with chicken wire in front of it. These boards, the boards that you see, and of course this is some, uh, what do you call this? You can put it outside. I don't know what you, what kind of lighting, but it's LED as well. You can see the barn board, okay? It's just barn board, guys. It's it's really nothing special. This is old barn board that re-salvaged off of an old building out there and, and then took it and, and framed this together. Um, it's, it's three pieces, okay? And it's hinged, you know, on each side. There's a hinge here, directly here, and of course I have it hidden with the flowers, but you can kind of see it popping out there. Then there's another hinge towards the bottom section, okay? Or maybe I got three, yeah, I got three hinges. So I put one here close to the center and another one close down to the bottom. Okay, so you can see that that's just burlap. Uh, All right. Close up of the mannequin all right and you can see it's just a very very simple thing and this is just a regular sunbonnet here's the flowers these are all dollar tree flowers you guys this is ribbon craft ribbon that i picked up 
This was one of mom's pearl necklaces and I just tied it on there. It's one of those kind that tie. There's the ribbon to it. And then I took the craft ribbon and made a big purple ribbon to kind of accentuate the, you know, the mannequin, okay? Now, you see these little butterflies here? I wired them to the chicken wire and they're standout. They're actually, it gives a 3D effect, like the butterflies are flying. You see that? It gives the effect that the butterfly, it gives a very nice 3D effect. Okay? These little bits and bobbles, these little signs, these are just little cardboard signs that I got at a, a craft deal I, years and years ago. I don't know if you can find them anymore, but I used to really love gardening. I still do. I just can't do it anymore. This is a fan that was picked up from Dollar Tree. A dollar, people. One dollar. Dollar Tree. This is not expensive to do. So there you go. Now I'll show you the back side of this. Thing. Okay, this is the back side of my screen. So you can see it's three sections. It, it's tri-folding. Remember where I talked where the hinges are? That's where the hinges are. And then over the top of this LED lighting, I'll just let you get a sneak peek behind the scenes here. All that is, is those you know, they're the mesh things that you can, you know, you put up at Christmas time, you can put over a bush or whatever. The web lighting, that's all that is. And then those up there, those were got, the purple ones were got at Halloween time. It's just a, a, just a strand and I wired them to the chicken wire so that there's, I think there's a total, right now what you're seeing is a total of three sets all together of lighting, lighting strings on this backdrop. So there's the purple strand that goes right along there and like I said it's wired to the chicken wire on this back side. Okay? And then same with the mesh. The blue ones are a, a Christmas mesh that you lay over your bushes, right? And then what I've done over the top of this, this is just cheap Walmart, very thin, but they're burlap colored curtains and I think they were like five bucks a piece strung over a curtain rod and hung on this back side. Now the reason that I did that is to help refract these light kits back to the other side so they're not bleeding into this side of the room so much. So as you're looking at this backdrop here, I was sitting here figuring out how many light sets I actually have. So I have the pink strand with, that I did, that I strung the silk flowers from, all from Dollar Tree. Then I have the purple strand that you see that comes up, shows up along the side here and around the center and then back around the other side that was gotten at Halloween time. Um, those are, every, all the lights are LED, okay? <clears throat> and then the blue strand, which is, you know, the woven, as you can see, it's a crisscross pattern. You could saw it, you saw it from the other side. Um, it's a crisscross pattern. So that's one, two, three. And then the fourth set is this rope lighting, which I couldn't remember the name of earlier, that I also picked up around Halloween time at Walmart. Okay, guys? Um, the purple set that goes along here and along the frame, that was got at Walmart. Even the pink set was got at Walmart. The blue set I ordered um, from eBay. I don't remember the name of the seller, but it has a bunch of different functions for different light patterns that you can make happen. So I'll show you those different light patterns here real quick. So we have this really crazy, I don't know, it's a blinking, it's a fast blinking pattern. Then we have this always on right here. Then there's this kind of rolling, I don't know, I guess I would call it a rolling strobe or whatever. It slows up and speeds down and it kind of looks like it's rolling or whatever. And there's this kind of, I don't know, twinkle. Seems to me to be very similar to the last mode, but 
I don't know. One here is a very, I don't know, it's like too much for me. And that one's like strobing, flashing, rolling, the whole nine yards. Not for me, generally. I don't know. I guess if you want to create some excitement, I don't know. It's kind of a bit much for me, I think. So here we have, finally, this is my favorite mode right here. Um, as you can see, it slowly fades on, gets really bright, and then it'll slowly fade out. This is by far my favorite mode to run this in. This is the mode I prefer most because then you can kind of see what the true background is like, but then the lights bring another element to it, you know, make it more, I don't know, 3D or whatever. Really fun for at nighttime. I'd like to add one more set. I'd like to get another set of the mesh lights, the, like the blue ones, but in pink. So I think that would be so pretty. And then have them lay so that they're opposite, so it's really filled up with color. I think that would be so pretty, but... So there you have it. Backdrop. Hopefully, if you saw enough of you know, the major components. If you want to recreate it, you can recreate it without having to spend a fortune and have a really nice looking backdrop. Just use things that you already have. Pick up some things from Dollar Tree. Add items that were, you know, something from your family or loved one that you have that you love. And just go to town, have a blast, enjoy yourself and do it the way you want to do it. I am in my swimsuit attire, so I'm getting ready to film a makeup. This look is a makeup look that's <laughs> supposed to be waterproof. We're going to find out. I am sweating like crazy. It is 98 degrees here today. So I'm going to get in the pool now and check out this waterproof makeup and see if it actually is waterproof so if you guys are interested in that video be sure to yeah, check hope that this out this video was helpful i hope you found it useful um it was a requested video so there you have it that's how i did my live stream backdrop have a blessed day as and always stay true to yourselves love yourselves and be kind to others bye guys